Christmas in Sweden. Christmas in Sweden. People in different countries celebrate Christmas in different ways. Sweden is a Scandinavian country. Scandinavia is an area of Northern Europe. People from Sweden are called Swedes. They speak Swedish. Their Christmas greeting is Gud Jul. It means Good Christmas. Christmas Day is always celebrated on December 25th, but Christmas starts early in Sweden. It begins four Sundays before Christmas. This is called Advent. Christmas lasts until St. Knut's Day on January 13th. The weather in Sweden at Christmas is dark and snowy. There are only a few hours of sun each day. The snowy weather can last for half of the year. Symbols of Christmas. The star of Advent is an important Christmas symbol in Sweden. A symbol is something that stands for another thing. The star of Advent reminds many Swedes of the star the wise men followed. Almost every house has stars of Advent hanging in the windows. Each star is made out of straw or thin wood. A lamp is put inside. Swedes turn the lamp on as soon as it gets dark. They turn it off when they go to bed. Advent candle holders are also important in Sweden. The holder is made of brass or wood. It holds four candles. One candle is lit on each of the four Sundays of Advent. Many Swedes put wreaths on their doors. A wreath is a circle of branches that are twisted together. The branches are usually made out of evergreens. An evergreen is a plant that stays green all the time. Christmas Celebrations Swedes celebrate St. Lucia Day on December 13th. A saint is a special person in the church. Lucia lived a long time ago. She was a Christian who served others. Almost everyone in Sweden celebrates St. Lucia Day. Swedish families celebrate St. Lucia Day at home. The oldest daughter wakes up early. She puts on a long white dress and red belt. She wears a special crown of candles. She takes food to the rest of her family. Every community also votes for a girl to play Lucia. There's a parade on St. Lucia Day. The girl picked to be Lucia leads. She is followed by a group of girls in white dresses. She is also followed by a number of star boys. The star boys wear white shirts. They wear pointed hats with stars on them. They carry long sticks with stars on the tops. Decorations. People in Sweden decorate their houses for Christmas. Straw is one important decoration. Swedish children make ornaments out of straw. Ornaments are decorations usually hung on a Christmas tree. The ornaments might be stars, animals, or angels. Straw reminds Swedes that Jesus was born in a stable. Some people think that straw is magical. Sometimes farmers put straw on their crops. They believe this makes the plants grow better. At Christmas, Swedish children have a straw goat. The goat guards the Christmas tree. Swedes think the straw goat protects them from bad things. Heart-shaped baskets are another popular kind of ornament. Swedish people fill the baskets with candy. They also put apples and Swedish flags on their trees. Santa Claus. The first Santa Claus is a man named St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas lived a long time ago. He secretly gave gifts to children and poor people. Today, many countries have a Christmas man like St. Nicholas. In Sweden, the Christmas man is called Jultomten. Yultomten comes in the afternoon of Christmas Eve. Children watch for him from their windows. Yultomten has a white beard. He wears a long red coat. He carries presents for children in a big sack. Yultomten knocks on the doors of the house. He asks if there are any good children there. Yultomten is invited inside. He sits down by the Christmas tree. People offer him a drink or dessert. Christmas presents. People all over the world give gifts at Christmas. Giving gifts reminds Christians of the wise men's gifts. Swedish people call presents Yule Klapper. They call presents Yule Klapper because of an old tradition. A tradition is a practice continued over many years. Yule Klapp means to knock on the door. Long ago, people would leave a present outside someone's door. Then they would knock and run away. Today, Yule Tomten hands out the Yule Klapper. He reads the tag on each gift. The tag tells who will receive the gift. Sometimes there is a poem on the tag, too. The poem gives a hint about the present inside. Holiday foods. People in Sweden make cookies called peppa kakor. 
the kakor is a popular Christmas dessert. The cookies taste like gingerbread. They're usually shaped like hearts, stars, or goats. Sometimes people make cookie houses out of the pepe kakor. For Christmas dinner, Swedish people have a buffet. That means all the food is sat on a table. People go to the buffet to fill their plates. Christmas buffets have ham and pickled pig's feet. There's also dried codfish. Swedish people also have many kinds of sweets. One of their favorite desserts is rice pudding. It is served hot with cinnamon and sugar. Christmas songs. Many people in Sweden go to church on Christmas morning. The church service is very early. They sing many songs at the service. Epiphany is celebrated on January 6th. The word epiphany means showing. Some Christians believe Jesus was shown to the wise men on this day. Long ago, star boys were an important part of Epiphany. They waited. They walked the streets singing songs. Star boys are now part of St. Lucia Day. Today, everyone in Sweden has the day off for Epiphany. St. Nuts Day is January 13th. It is the end of the Christmas season in Sweden. Swedish people have a special song for St. Nuts Day. People take down their Christmas trees. The children have a party. They dance around the tree in a ring dance. They sing about throwing away the tree.